to construct an angle bisector. So the next one is an angle bisector. So hopefully you did your copy and angles. The next one is an angle bisector. If you think about angle bisectors, we learned about them in quarter two, quarter one, I don't even know. It's an angle and we're cutting it whoop, in the half right down the middle, okay? So the idea is I need to figure out where I should put my line smack dab in the middle. And you're like, well, I'm just gonna draw a line in the middle and then it's gonna be an angle bisector. No, okay? So we're gonna construct it. So we're gonna take our little compass and we're gonna put the compass part on the corner of the angle once again. And then um, once again, it doesn't really matter where you start at. You just don't want it longer than the line. So I'm just gonna put it kind of like in the middle of the line. And I'm gonna draw an arc going through both rays like we just did. So I'm gonna draw a little arc. Boop, boop. Now the good thing about an angle bisector is you don't have to move your slider literally at all. If you want to, you can, you don't need to. So I drew an arc. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my compass to the bottom corner that I just made. And then I know I'm aiming for the middle because the bisector has to go through the middle. So I'm gonna make a little arc out in front of the angle, almost as if this angle was like an alligator and it's going to chomp, 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 eat it. Okay, so I put my arc out here and I drew a little whoop whoop. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move my compass to the top one and make a little arc that intersects in the front. Nope. So right here is what it looks like on the EOC. It's gonna say, what is the next step to construct an angle bisector? And there's gonna be like little letters. It's gonna say like, there'll be a little A here. Shh, be quiet. A little B, a little C, a little D. You have to determine where you should draw the line to construct an angle bisector. Should I connect B to C, D to C, or A to C? A to C. Yes, but if we didn't review this, you guys would have been like, what the heck? Maybe some of you, I'm sure some of you could have figured it out, but um, it has to be multiple, it's multiple choice. So, yes, so we're gonna do the same thing. We'll, and this one's gonna go a lot faster and now you're getting used to the compass a little bit, so it's gonna go by faster. Number six is the same thing for an angle bisector. I'm gonna start just by making some random arc. And then I just need to make the little tic tacs in front of it as if the angle was gonna eat those little tic tacs. So because those little tic tacs are in the mouth, this is constructing an angle bisector. I'm gonna connect the vertex of the angle and this little intersection that I have and that's gonna split the angle right down the middle through the center. So try seven and eight. two angle bisectors you should probably wait till that one yeah just wait and then um and then one. yeah this is it um so take a minute if you haven't done seven and eight try seven and eight 